a workout primarily working balance using a body bar. So we're gonna work, be working our legs, we're gonna be working our upper body, our core, doing small movements using balance and a body bar. You wanna pick up a body bar that is appropriate for you. I'm using uh, a 12 pound body bar today and we're gonna get started. You're gonna have water, put uh, some comfortable shoes on, get a mat, and I'm gonna warm you up. So we're going to be working muscle groups today. We're primarily gonna be working balance with rotation and things that are one-legged. That's what we're doing today. Before we get started, after our warm up, I'm going to show you the three positions that you can use a body bar in. And so you're going to decide what's best for you. And then take that hip flexor back. We'll be working legs today, too. Bring my knees up, ignite those gluteals. And I'm gonna load my legs by squatting down in a nice squat. Pull the pit of the belly in and up. And do two side squats. And then I'm gonna do a side lunge. We're gonna be working the side lunge today with a little bit of rotation using our body bar. And then breathe that up. And exhale with us. What we want to know about the body bar is it can be used for lifting, it can be used for circuit training, and it can be used for balance. And what I like about the body bar is it helps you control your alignment and you can use it in balance. So if I were to use my body bar like this, which we're going to do first, putting your body bar here or here, or here. Sometimes we work on a step with our body bar. This would be first position. So you're literally putting it on the ground, lightly using it as a guide, and holding your balance. So if I were to be here, I'm holding my balance. I'm not pushing into my body bar. I'm just using it as a guide. So this is first position. You can always be here. Second position, I'm going to curl it up into the creases of my arm, right below my bicep, and then come over, right? I wanna come over and support it. Your bar here so that it doesn't roll out and slide out. So this can be for rotation. You can do all your movements with your body bar in front. What you don't want to do, I wanna roll my shoulders back here, is I don't want to fall forward and drop my head below my heart because my bar is too heavy, it's not top heavy. And make sure you have control of the bar. That's good for if rotating the shoulders back and holding the bar here is too much for your shoulders or your wrist flexors and extensors. You can stay in second position or go to first position. Third position, I'm going to take my bar hip width, meaning I'm going to put my hands where my hip flexors are and hold the bar there. Now I know I'm hip width. Then I'm gonna rotate the bar back behind me. And I want the bar to be on my trapezius, on the what I call the soft part of my back, and I'm gonna stay away from my neck. It's never, ever, 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 ever going to go on my cervical spine. It needs to drop down to the shoulders. The other thing is I see this all the time. This is not it. That's gonna hurt your wrist flexors. Keep your body bar straight. So your fingers are gonna come up to the top and my wrists are nice and straight. And I'm pushing in here. Now I'm externally rotated in my shoulder. So if you have a shoulder issue and this is too much for you, you're gonna go back to second position. But again, I can do all of my lifting, twisting, lunging, and I can do my balance work 
in third position, second position, or first position. We're going to start in first position just so that I can show you. You can move your bar to second position. We'll do um, three sets of this first exercise, and then we'll do one set of everything else just so I can show you the different positions. Because I like my videos to be learning tools too. You want to learn how to use the equipment properly and know what's best for you so you can move forward on your um, wellness journey. So we're gonna start in first position. I'm gonna lift my right leg up. Now what I wanna do is gonna just pulse it up. Notice I have softness in the knee. So I'm not locking my joint out. I wanna keep it nice and soft so what? I have oxygen coming in. I'm gonna lift my body tall, pull my abs in, roll my shoulders back. And then I'm just lifting like, um, like a a bar, right? So if this were like ballet bar, right? We're here, we're lifting up. One, two, pulse, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Then you're gonna bring it down. Move back so you can see my feet. The next one we want to get around the hip, around this hip joint, working these love handles, right? So what I want to do is I'll see this. People turn their foot out, externally rotate at the hip and push. That's not it. We want to get down the IT band. So what I'm going to do here is I'm elongated. I'm going to turn my toe in, internal rotation, and then take my heel out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 15. What you don't want to see is locking my other joint out. I want to keep oxygen in so it'll pass out. And then also I don't want to see hip hinging or hip hinging. I want those hips to be nice and long and lean and tall as I push out. Then the last one in one, I'm going to turn this way, and I want to dorsiflex my toes towards my knees. I'm going to lift up to push that glute up, and then lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Then you just go to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Drop it down, turn it in, push it out. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And then take it to the back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And that's the first set. Question, can you add a fabric loop to this? Yes. It's a great um, workout. Adds resistance. So yes, you could do that. We've done it before. Um, try it without first. If you need to add resistance, you can add a fabric loop to those exercises and really get in a good work. Remember, we're thinking about balance here, too, because we're lifting and standing on one leg. So now I'm going to go to second position. Second position, roll my shoulders back and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15, bring it down, turn it in, lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Dorsiflex the foot, lift up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. 
Press down, lift up, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Bring it down, turn the toe, internal rotation, lift it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Last one. Lift. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. You may have to shake out your hips a little bit there, and then you can bring your body bar down. We're going to do that last one in Position three, if position three is out for you, you can stay in two or go back to one. So our third set, bringing it back, finding that upper back, not my neck, hands up and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15, drop it down, turn it out, lift. One, two, three, four, five, six. You should really feel your hips now. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Lift the back. One, two, glutes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, place it down, draw it nice and tall, lift it up, one, two, breathe, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, drop it down, turn it in, lift it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Take it to the back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Very gently, you're going to lift, bring it down close to your body. So you don't want to lift away from our body. Bring it nice and close, bring it over, keep the shoulders nice and safe. That would be your first exercise, three sets. You're gonna do first position, second position, third position. Notice that when you get to third position, you really have to work your core and your balance because you're stepping out on one foot. And so that's really important. The next one we're gonna do is a row. Notice that these are kind of compound, not lifting, but more balanced, but you are working upper and a lower body thing. So you're either working balance in the body in the lower part and working arms at the top, or you're working your balance and working your legs. So we're doing that. We want an apple under the chin. I'm going to hip hinge and I'm going to bring my bar here. Now, sometimes, depending on how tall you are. So this is a 12 pound bar and it's almost as tall as me. Usually the heavier the bar, the taller the bar. Sometimes I have to go with a lighter bar because it's just tall, too tall. So when I lift it, it really throws my balance off. Now you could take your hand, for some people it uh, up to the top. For me, it's I've got to center it up so that I'm more balanced. And I'm going to hip hinge right into a one-legged stance. So I'm almost doing like airplane here. I'm going to turn my toe down and then drop and then row. Inhale, exhale, row. Softness in the standing leg. Inhale, exhale, row. Inhale, exhale, row. Inhale, exhale, row. One more time. Inhale, exhale. And row and then hinge up. We're not dropping our head below our heart. 
we're working balance and then you're in movement on one side of your body. So I'm just trying to stand without falling over and I'm starting to move, motion. Look at a focal point. It's really gonna help you with balance as you move your body. So the same thing for me, being in the middle is better. You have to find what works for you. I'm going to roll that shoulder back, hip hinge. Softness in that standing knee. I'm going to hinge. And then I'm driving up and down. Exhale. Shh. Inhale. Exhale. Shh. Inhale. Exhale. Shh. Inhale. Exhale. Shh. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. Shh. And inhale. Come up. You're really going to feel your hamstrings and your glutes on that one and those rotator muscles that work around the glutes. Now, working core you're working balance. You're also, we were working upper back as we were rowing. We didn't do too many because it's a balance exercise. We're trying to work balance. You could do that three times. So take a break, maybe do five, and then do five on the other side, and then go back to it until you get to all your sets done. Notice that we're working those stability mobility points. Your feet are stable, they're gonna ground down. As I'm standing on one leg, my ankle is my mover. I'm gonna feel my ankle moving around to try to hold me up, that's good. I don't want my knee rocking back and forth. I want my knee to stay stable, let my ankle do the moving. My knee is my stability point. My hips are gonna be my mover. If they have to adjust something, ball and socket's going to do the job and my hips are going to move. If your hips are moving, your shoulders are probably going to want to move because again, shoulders and hips follow each other. My low back though is going to be stable, stable, stable. I'm never doing this, <laughs> not doing that. Feet are stable, ankles move. Knees are stable, hips move. Low back is stable. Then my thoracic up into my shoulders, that's my mover, but my neck, my cervical spine, always in a neutral position, always going to be stable, not moving it like this, not turtling. All right, the next thing we're going to do is a side lunge with rotation. And you can pick one, two, or three. So one would look like this. Side lunge, rotate, and back. Two would look like this. Side lunge, rotate, and back. And three is going to look like this. Side lunge, rotate, and back. Exhale. Now when I exhale, I'm pushing with my legs, not my low back. Remember your stabilizers and your mobiles. I'm going to do this in three. We're going to go side to side. You could pick your one, two, or three, your positions with your body bar. Do that side lunge, Calm down, knee stays behind the toe. Rotate out, I've got rotation, push back. Down again, rotate, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Lunge down, rotate. Come back, bring it up. One more. Down, rotate, bring it down and up. You're doing a lot of work here. And then if you need to, take a break with that. Remember you're keeping that body bar close to you so that you can get out of that position without hurting your shoulders. And then we go to the other side. So this time I'm gonna do second position just to show you. I want you to pick the one that works for you. Coming down, rotate out, coming back, stepping up. Inhale, shh, exhale, inhale, shh, exhale. Inhale, shh, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, shh, exhale, inhale, shh, exhale. One more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and 
exhale. And then we'll just bring this down. Nice. You can step side to side a little bit. Now your heart rate might be coming up because again, working compound position because we're working legs. Then I'm twisting out, working those obliques, coming back, and I'm holding resistance. So your heart rate might come up with this. Take your time, go as slow as you need. We've got a couple more. We're thinking about balance here. So skaters, we're used to cardio, right? We're gonna do them weighted and with balance. We're in position one, we're gonna step over, come back. Notice my leg is not on the ground. I'm gonna come back, step over, come back. One-legged, step over, step out, come back. Step over, step out, come back. So back legs off the ground. I'm hip hinging at my hip flexor. My apples under my chin, my shoulders and my hips are following each other. And I'm just using the bar for the balance in step one. Now if you want to do this in two or three, it's going to be slower because now you'll have the bar on the ground, right? So you're gonna step out, come back, balance, come up, step, come back, balance, step down, come up, balance. And you really have to balance if you have a cat underneath your feet, Jax. Come back, just saying hello to everyone, and back balance and come up. My recommendation is maybe stay in one or two position on the body bar there. Once I get here and I'm trying to hinge forward, the weight might be too much and you, it would be a struggle. You could do it, but you'd have to be very slow. Once I start to hinge, um, have the tendency to want to push down onto my shoulders. So I'm going to have to be super, super gentle and super, super strong in my core. We're not quite there yet. Stay in one or go to two. And then when your core is nice and tight and you can really slow it down, be purposeful, then you can go to third position on those balanced weighted skaters. I love those. All right, we've got two more exercises for you. Side lunge, rotate. Now we're going to do back lunge, rotate. And I'm gonna do the back lunge. You could do a forward lunge as well, but I'm doing back lunge so you can see me better because when I come forward, I'm too close to my camera. First position, back lunge, and then I'm gonna rotate. You wanna rotate to the leg that's out in front of you. Back lunge, rotate, come back. Second position, back lunge, rotate. Step up, back lunge, rotate. Third position, back lunge, rotate. It's a small rotation because you've got this bar here. Back lunge, rotate. So you're gonna get your most rotation out of, I would say second position or first position. And you're gonna do 15 of those, just keep alternating. The leg that's out in front of you is where you rotate and get that nice um, rotation in the spine, really work the core. All right, and then we have one more. We're gonna come down to the ground for that. Okay, welcome back down to the ground. This is going to be our last exercise of the day. You've done a ton of core work and balance. Notice that it's nice and purposeful and slow. To be one that you could complement with maybe cardio after or a really nice stretch after. You could do a nice yoga flow or a, you know, you could do yin before this and then work balance. There's so a lot of ways that you can complement this. Mostly I wanted to give instructions on how to use that body bar because 
We want to do it right. So I'm putting my legs here bent. My heels are driving into the ground. I'm going to put my hands right at my hip flexors. That's where I want to hold the bar. And then I want to lift one leg up. Balance. I'm going to rock back supine position now. If you have shoulder issue, just keep the bar right to your chest. If you don't have a shoulder issue and you can bring it back behind you, I'm going to bring it back behind you. Rock up, lift up. Leg is up. Bring it back down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. I'm rocking it back over my head. Exhale. Rocking it back. So again, moving those shoulders. And you can switch legs. Inhale. Exhale. Should look super smooth. Inhale. Notice that even though I have flexion and I'm lifting the bar up, I'm not hyperextending. I'm right here. I'm not back here. Lifting here. Inhale. One more time. And exhale. And then bring it down. And you could do three sets of 15 for that. Let me stretch you out a little bit. Want to be super careful with these body bars, especially if you're in your house. Don't slam them down onto the ground. It's a big uh, metal rod underneath that coating and it will dent your floor. Super gentle with them. And yes, um, over time the coating will uh, split. It will deteriorate. So you wanna keep your body bars in good condition. I wouldn't leave them out in hot sun or in a place where they'll like basically dry rot like a band would. So you're always checking your body bar up and down. If it starts to split like electrical tape and it's soft because it's like cloth and it's, it's worked magnificently for the body bar. You can keep your body bars um, in good condition over time and you can keep them for a long time. So the investment is worth it if you're Setting up a home gym, consider adding a body bar to it. All right. If you're just going into your gym to do your workout, you can take this workout with you and use the body bar. You can use a step along with it. Consider checking it just to make sure there's no rips and tears in it so that you don't hurt yourself and just make some nice softness in your knees here. I'm just going to hip hinge. Open up those hips because we worked around this joint. I'm just stretching it out, I'm keeping my apple under my chin. You could <laughs> like, subscribe, and share, hit that button. You could go into a playlist and pull up a stretch sequence and just do a nice long stretch for your legs, especially around the hips, around the joints. Stretch open my whole body. And I'm feeling it today. So you want to make sure that you are not just doing your workouts. Do the workouts every day, Beth. I'm moving every day. I'm getting it done. I'm getting it in. That's fabulous. Don't forget that part of the workout is the stretch. You want to warm up at the beginning three to four minutes. Give yourself time to let your brain know what your body's about to do. Rhythmic movements and then your stretch at the end. Slow stretch. Isometric, static, however you want to, whatever you want to call it, but just long, elongated stretching. And you can hold a stretch about 30 seconds or longer if you need to, and then just move into that next one. I'm going to actually sit and open up these hips because we worked all around the leg just by doing that first exercise of lifting up quadriceps, lifting out IT band, adductors, abductors, lifting back hamstrings, glutes. So we worked around the entire leg. You could add some calf raises with 
your body bar. So first position, you can lift up and do a bunch of calf raises. Second position, you could do it. And you could even do right side and left side and make it even more fabulous by switching that up. And you've got entire leg workout just using a couple movements and a body bar for balance. We don't want to forget balance because balance is part of that uh, triangle. So we have strength, we have cardio, and then we have balance and flexibility. And they ride along that one line. So we have to stretch our bodies and practice balance. Yoga is great for that, but if you're doing other things and you're like, yeah, I do yoga every now and then, consider embracing yoga. It's really going to help you with the flexibility and balance part, but it does strength train you because you're doing a lot of body weight stuff. However, if that's not for you, then you'll do your stretches and work your balance with other exercises. All right, I'm gonna take a nice cat cap. Just put some flexion and extension, extension into my back. That's gonna feel lovely. And I'm gonna step up under into Ragdoll Uttanasana, stretch my low back, stretch the back of my legs because I've worked with them. And then we're going to begin to work all the way to the top. We begin to work all the way to the top by placing our hands on our quadricep and then gently, purposely, slowly rolling a one through five, that lower lumbar. T1 through 12 is whole thoracic spine, lift, roll the shoulders back, lift your cervical spine, keep it in a neutral position, stretch through, crown of the head to the ceiling, and roll your shoulders, roll your elbows, take a big breath in, get a nice side body stretch, lift tall, other side, last breath up, exhale it all away, go in peace. You are done. So we worked a little bit of body bar balance and rotation. We did a lot of rotating through the spine. Notice that I squatted down for that. I kept my apple under my chin, my head above my heart. It's important. Don't forget to drink water. You want eight, eight ounces of water to stay hydrated. Get some tools, play with them. It's fun. We need to learn, especially as we get older, we need to learn balance. We want to be able to use our body to get up off the ground without using furniture. We also want to be able to balance, stand on one leg for balance, stand on one leg. So that prevents what? Falling, stand on one leg, practice, practice, practice. So get here, 30 seconds. You want to be able to do this at minimum 30 seconds. You can start to then move around and try to get unfocused, right? Keep moving your body in different planes of motion with balance. And then you can begin to close those eyes and begin to work that balance. And it is a lot more difficult when you use, lose your sense of sight. We want to practice those things. It's going to keep us healthier and safer. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and share hit our button. Don't forget to invite your friends to do these workouts and learn about their healthy journey. Until then, we'll see you for the next workout. Bye.